Well, in many remote Indonesian villages, there are schools operating without a single book. So some determined locals are encouraging all Indonesians, young and old, rich and poor, to get reading. And festivals have been organised and programmes set up to improve people's access to books. Indonesia correspondent Kerry Ritchie reports. In the village of Milo in West Flores, reading has never been a big priority. For these Indonesian children, books are luxury items their families can't afford. They have no libraries. Uh, if they do, the books are very limited. So that's why I, like, I decided to set up reading gardens for them to encourage and to nurture children's interest in reading. Six libraries are now operating in Flores, three in the Komodo National Park, another three high up in the mountains. Traditional dancers helped launch the Rainbow Reading Gardens program last month. There was no government help. The books these children are now devouring were bought with donations from ordinary Indonesians. In Jakarta, a festival with a photo exhibition has just been held to mark World Book Day Indonesia. Organisers of the event say there's a misconception Indonesians don't like reading. In Indonesia, I think most people like uh the soft books, motivation book, or chick lit, or ten lit, something like this. Mila Tanzel's program is in its early days, but she believes it's already working wonders. Every week they come to the reading gardens and they just, you know, attack the bookshelves and, yeah, have a blast with the books. Mila Tanzel says teachers are already noticing the vocabularies of the children have dramatically improved. Kerry Ritchie, ABC News, Jakarta.